What's up guys, Austin Richo here, and today I'm going to be kind of showing off all the hauler, um, everything I got from the New York Comic Con, so of course it was last weekend, but most of the stuff I got I had to order offline, so by the time it came in and stuff, it's now this weekend, so that's why it's late compared to a bunch of other people's stuff, but um, since I was working I couldn't go out shopping, and so to get everything I had to order online and wait for it to ship and everything, and so everything arrived. So today, today I'm going to be showing off um, all sorts of pops and other collectible stuff that I got. Most, um, some of it is the New York Comic Con exclusive, but most of all of them are exclusives in general. And uh, so I'm, I picked them up at the same time, like last weekend searching for the comic-con stuff so that's why i'm going to do some things that are not um but to kick off i guess there's no better place to start for me personally than i did get the dragon zord from hot topic so of course this was a hot topic exclusive and so now i do have the dragon zord and the mega zord because i was lucky to get both of them um and so i was able to order this offline so let's go ahead and open it out of the box here um so i did notice um because i've already looked at this and stuff of course this was hot topic and it was shipped and everything so i can't um, i couldn't you know be there to pick and like choose or um like decide on the paint jobs and stuff because you know pops you have to look at their paint jobs and stuff but he does have a problem on his chin i don't know if you can see um i think it's right there like on his face and so he's got some paint problems that i'll try and like fix up and everything but um yeah unfortunately he came like damaged or whatever but um the box was a little damaged but nothing too bad but so we got the dragon sword which is awesome and so this is a six inch pop so that's why it's so big and everything and it's just super cool i mean it's got a giant head of the dragon sword so of course like the dragon face so looks kind of like godzilla or whatever is what it's kind of based off of um but it looks cool and so then of course got a body with its little hands that can shoot like missiles out of it and stuff and of course the chest plate that normally lights up on the toy and stuff then its legs and of course on the back it's got the tail which i was wondering what they were going to do with the tail and how big it was going to be um but it's so it's kind of small um, but it just looks super cool, and I'm so glad I was able to get this, because this was, of course, my most wanted item from this um, from Comic-Con and stuff, so I was super excited to get that. So we got the Dragon Zord. Um, next up to go with, I'm trying to like, get everything separated into like certain things. Um, next up, um, so some of these things are my brother's items, that I was, but I still was able to get them and stuff. And the next up is the 8-Bit Shredder from GameStop. Um, so I thought these 8-bits looked cool, and um, I somewhat wanted them, like I wanted the Batman for my Batman collection stuff, but I'm like, do I really want it or not, because you know, I'm trying to not spend as much money, but my brother has the Ninja Turtle collection, so he ended up getting the Shredder, and it just looks awesome, I love the look of these 8-bit characters, and so as you can see, it's got all the like square, and like, um, I forget what they call it, um, but anyway, but it's like all squared off and looks like it's made of eight bits. And so if you took, you know, a bunch of little squares, kind of like Minecraft and put them all together, you get like this look and design. And so here is a look all the way around. So again, you can see the design and everything, you know, from even his like claws on his hands, his knee pads and everything. It just looks so awesome. The cape looks really cool the way they did that. But the most surprising thing I've heard most people say, and we ourselves. <laughs> Uh, we're surprised about is how heavy they are obviously with the video you can't you know tell but if you haven't seen or held one of these like in the box or anything they are super heavy so i don't know if it's um because of the 8-bit design but like the head feels really heavy where usually they're hollow so that's why they're light this time it feels like completely solid so i assume that's where all the weight came from but they're super heavy um but so that was the 8-bit sh shredder again from gamestop uh next up we could go with probably star wars so to start off i got the dingar or i don't know how to say dingar dingar whatever from amazon so this was an amazon exclusive that i had to order and i was lucky enough to um see the order um i think it was the reorder actually and so it said this was uh came up pre-ordered or back ordered something like that um and so i wasn't able to get like the first run of it Gosh, i can't get him out of the box okay so of course it's a star wars so these are all bobbleheads and so there's dingar on the um, base and stuff and so he's another bounty hunter so i think i have all the bounty hunters but boss because i was too late into getting pops to be able to get bosk um so he just looks super cool i like his long uh 
like rifle that he's holding of course i don't know if it's called anything or not but he's got his like completely bandaged head as you see in empire strikes back and as i mentioned his gun and then on the his back he's got like a backpack with all sorts of stuff it looks like a camping backpack because it has like a bedroll type thing and stuff and on the back there of the design that they put into it so it just looks super cool and i was super excited to get it to continue on with the bounty hunters that i got so i now have like i said all but bosk and to go along with that, we also got, so I have a bunch of non-exclusives, so I'll go with the next one. Um, I got the Boba Fett from Toys R Us. And so this was, I think, the first one I got out of Toys R Us because I did, ended up doing three separate orders, and you'll see why in a minute. Well, it's all falling apart. Um, so this is my second pop ride. I don't know what they're calling them. I guess it's not the second because we do have... Um, uh, st uh, Luke one. It's not really calling it anything. They usually call them pop rides, but it's obviously a pop in the um, case of take it out of here. Um, and so this is like the second, maybe third one. I like this, I don't. No, I think it's only the second one. I don't know exactly. Um, but I know the second one for sure, where they have the character that doesn't come out like the other po old pop rides used to, where the character is actually mounted into the base. And um, then they have like the ball head and stuff. So of course, the my biggest problem with being a Star Wars fan, uh, first off, there's the Star Wars logo. So it's still got the base, and I believe, pretty sure this is supposed to be one of the best bin platforms. You know, where he takes off after getting Han Solo and Carbonite loaded into the ship, and they take off. I assume that's what this is supposed to be. Um, so I assume a best bin platform. But when Slave One flies, it flies like this. So technically, Bo uh, yeah, Boba Fett's upside down. Or like he's facing the wrong way. So he should be facing downward because the ship flies like this, like coming towards you, you know, like that. Um, so that's one of the my only like nitpicking problems. But I love everything they did with this, like the design and all the detail. Like I don't know if you can see in the camera, but they did like a splotchy design on Slave One, like on the green and even the brown parts. Like, I don't know exactly what they did, but it just looks awesome. But I just love this. The only problem is his antenna is kind of bent. Um, but, so I thought it was funny. Oh, I do have two, because we have the Luke, um, like I said, in the land speeder. Then I do have the Darth Vader um, one in the uh, TIE Bomber, I think it is, and with the Death Star as the base, which I thought was funny because this one comes with the Death Star. So I was like, if it's got the Bespin base, it should come with a Bespin, uh, whatever. Um, like picture in the background or something like Cloud City in the background there and to go along with that then to follow up which is not a uh, Comic Con exclusive but is an exclusive is the Wedge Antilles I was able to find out my look um, not really local <laughs> Walgreens it's kind of far away but um, we were in another city and stuff searching or shopping and stuff and I found this at the Walgreens um, so, of course, this is Walgreens, and they do have this pop ride of Wedge and Tilly's, which is one of Luke's, like, friends or buddies, whatever, from Star Wars. And he's in one of the snow speeders on Hoth, and so, again, we have the snow base down here with the Star Wars logo. And then I like the whole floating stuff they do with these. And then it's a snow speeder, so you got the, like, gun on the back, you know, that shoots the harpoon and tow cable and stuff to take down the AT-ATs. And then we got Wedge and Tilly's sitting in here, which you can't really tell like who it is and stuff because it's just a pop with a helmet on and stuff but it just looks cool and I love these things like I love the way they look and the design like I want to keep them out of box but I don't want to get rid of the boxes so I'm like I don't know what to do because I don't have room for them so um, it's a hard thing to decide on but I think it looks super cool I love these things um, of course now at Walgreens they do have the um, the I don't know what they call them like the dioramas or um, display uh, scenes or whatever so they have the um luke and darth vader and bespin or cloud city where they find of course luke loses his hand and stuff they have that scene and i really want it so bad but mine didn't have it um to continue on with star wars next up we got the um wicked or sorry the ewok three pack of pops this is from walmart as you can see the sign there and this came out was released last week too so i don't know if it's a comic-con exclusive or not i don't believe so but they released it last weekend during Comic-Con. And so I love this thing because it's so cool. Because we have um, Tebow, Chief Turfa, and Logray, which are three awesome Ewok characters. So we got these to go along with Wicket now. Um, so I'll go ahead and open and look at each one of these. So these are really cool. Like, I'm a huge fan of Ewoks. 
Um, so that, they're one of the biggest reasons why I love um, Return of the Jedi. And so now I have all these Pops versions. So first up here, if I can... I'm running out of room on the table here. But so first up here we have Tebow. And so it's, of course, it looks like it's almost... Looks almost like a reverse panda to me or something or a skunk with the um, black and like whitish gray stripes on it and stuff But it's got this giant like animal like boar's head or something on top of it with a feather as you can see It just looks really cool. I love all the detail they put into it Then it's got a spear or like a little spear axe type thing a primitive um, weapon and then um, it's like brown sack like material over its head that they um, a lot of the Ewoks like to wear and then of course a little bag to go along there so there's Tebow then next up we have Chief Chirpa here which is another one that looks almost like Wicked if it was brown instead of gray of course the same like again um, material over the head that they wear then this one has like a crown on it so I don't know if that's what makes it like Chief or whatever but a flower crown there around its head I don't know if you can see it all there and of course it has the two horns coming out of its head Again, from some animal, I don't know. And then a staff here with a bone on the top of it. And then some stuff there on its chest as well. So that was Chief Chirpa. And then we have Low Gray here, which is a like a vanilla. <laughs> it looks like Ewok with a yellow and white stripes. And then again, it has an animal of some sort of bird, it looks like. There with the beak on its head. And then it's got feathers and everything. Again, it's uh, like sack. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it like a burlap sack on its head or something and then it's staff with all sorts of bones and a feather sticking out of it there and of course it has like a side pack with some feathers and stuff on it too and it just looks so cool i love these so much um but so there's low gray so we got all of those done and the last got all the boxes trying to deal with and the last star wars item out of this set is um, the Target exclusive Red Stormtrooper. So with this, um, you can get it at Target from their website, but you have to have the Target Red card. And I used to work at Target um, years ago, so I have the Red card, so I was able to buy this, um, which I'm so super excited. I had the card to get this, um, just because I think it looks so awesome. I can get it out of the box. And so it's just the normal Stormtrooper. There's nothing special about it besides, obviously, the red color. So instead of white, it's red. Um, so yeah, it's just all red everywhere that it's white on the Stormtrooper. It's now red, of course, which is Target's like main color, or is their color. And so that's all it really is. There's nothing more special or different to it. And then again, you can only get this at Target with their Target red card. So if you have a red card or know someone and you want this, go ahead and hit them up to go to... Um, Target, or I guess you have to order it off Target's website, and they can do that for you, whatever. But that's the only way to get that. Um, so let's move some stuff around here and move on to the next stuff. Um, so I'd say probably the next set um, we'll do is, I guess, these, which are the Thunder Pack, uh, Thunder Cats three pack of Dorbs. And so, of course, we have Lino, Mumra, and Snarf. And so these, again, are my brothers because he's a huge fan of Thundercats and old 80s cartoons and stuff since that's what he grew up on. And so this was also a Toys R Us Comic-Con exclusive. So as you can see, the exclusive um, sign there on the front. And this one, yeah, it's this one says limited to 4,000 pieces. So I guess i um, kind of lucky I was able to get this because as the stuff, each of these items, like I was watching it the whole day at work, which was insane, um, as they were popping up on Toys R Us's website, I was ordering them one at a time. So that's why I said I had three different orders. So we'll start off here with Lion-O. Again, I don't know a whole lot about Thundercats. Um, I just know Lion, the character. So we have Lion-O there. And he does have a sword, which is cool because not many dwarves have swords. So it has the Thundercat sword there with um, the weird like little looks like an eye there or something it's got the Thundercats logo there on its belt in the middle and of course Lion-O with his lion face and wavy mane and stuff and I like his he has this claw like a uh, glove thing on his hand or something give him like a tiger claw or not tiger claw but like a claw of some sort 
And then next up we have the evil Mumra. So this is the villain from Thundercats, I believe. And so it just looks kind of cool, but it's weird since it's a villain that has the smile. And so it's got the double snake, so you can see the two snakes up here on the head. And then the sig um, signal or logo there on the chest. And so it's just an all bluish color, and it's got like, I assume that's supposed to be hair maybe with red stuff coming off the helmet. Or it could be just all from the helmet. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I like this big giant or this big helmet with the giant like thing on top of it, which looks cool. So that's Mumra. And then of course everyone's a favorite character. I don't know, it's the only character I ever really knew. Was Schnarf, which is what I'm going, Schnarf, Schnarf. And it's just a fun little sidekick pet of Thundercats. And so it's like a weird cat animal. It's got a tail and everything, and it's all just red and yellow. I used to have a little toy of this when I was younger, but I never watched Thundercats, so um, I guess it was okay. So that's the Thundercats 3-pack of Dorbs. Again, that's from Toys R Us, and I just think it's really cool that it's a limited set. Um, makes it feel even more special. And then to go along with that, we also got the new vinyls of Thundercats. And so this time we have Lion-O and Mumra again, but just those two this time. And it's the new vinyl characters. And this was also a Toys R Us exclusive. Again, another separate order I did once it popped up on... Um, I think I keep saying Target, but it's Toys R Us. Um, but this one, of course, um, at, um, on Thursday or Friday... Can Thursday last week, the actual day of uh, this beginning of Comic Con and the day all the pops went out and everything, we went to like Toys R Us and stuff just to see what they had even though I had ordered everything. And this was all our store had left. They had like five of these packs left. So I was like, oh, we shouldn't have ordered it. Just could have got it in the store and not paid shipping and stuff, but I already ordered it. So here we have Lion again. So just like it was the last time. So he's got his wavy mane again. They always give that to him with his um, lion face there blue outfit with the Thundercats logo there on the belt again the sword with like the eye looking thing in the middle which I think it's kind of hard or no this one has the actual Thundercats logo in the middle the other one had what looked like an eye and stuff and then it's got the claw glove type thing there on its hand also so there's lion -O, and then we have the Mumra which again looks exactly the same just obviously not in Dorb's form and so it's got the um Okay, so this time the two snakes are like facing forward. The other time they're facing inward, like towards each other, like going towards each other, towards each other. And so it's got the crown on again, with of course the big thing on top. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it looks cool. But this time he looks more evil and menacing with his eyes and mouth with teeth and everything. And then his blue body there, and he's got a cape, and then the two snake logo there on the chest and everything. And again, just looks really cool. And I actually like these, the look of these vinyls. And they do come with stands, so since they have the giant heads and little body and feet, they do have um, the little stands to go on. Um, but I'm really liking these vinyls, and after seeing these, I ended up ordering a bunch of the Christmas ones they've announced. So I, um, we'll be getting a bunch of the Christmas characters in these. I don't think I can get that back together. Um, in the vinyl, whatever these things are, vinyl um, character stuff. So I'm excited for those to come in. And speaking of that, to go along with it, we then got the He-Man and Trap Jaw from um, He-Man and Masters of the Universe set. Um, so this is not an exclusive, but um, I did order it at the same time because once uh, my brother saw the Thundercats and then he was looking at him and saw the He-Man, he's like, I have to have the He-Man also. So we ordered this again. So the packaging is different, which I noticed that first look. Um, but I was able to order these off Amazon, and so this time the way they've packaged them, they have the stands on them, where the other ones they're in a separate little thing, and so you can't really, like, you can't take them out of the box with them, you have to pull them out separately. So here we have He-Man, so this is the 80s version, so that's why it's got the really weird or horrible haircut as He-Man had in, um, I always thought the 80s He-Man looked horrible. Um, but there we have his chest armor plate or whatever, his furry, um, like, I don't know what you call it, like underwear stuff that he wore, kind of like a, a caveman or barbarian. And then he has his sword that, of course, he goes, I have the power, and turns from Adam to He-Man. And so, obviously, with this outfit, he is in He-Man form. And then, of course, to go with He-Man, we have Trap Jaw, which I don't know why they didn't do um, Skeletor, because, you know, Skeletor is the main villain. But they did one of the henchmen, Trap Jaw, 
here who of course is like a half robot type thing so he has this metal jaw you know trap jaw and then he's got this part on top showing that he's kind of like a robot he's got a metal arm with a hook on it there so you can see that and then just a normal arm and then so he's you can see like the normal part of his body they're all blue and stuff and he has like purple pants on with a belt green belt and stuff and he just looks cool i like the colors and everything so again that's another vinyl set and these are i think like some of the first ones maybe i've never i've never seen any vinyls out in stores so i don't know if these are the first ones that have come out or not um because they were just released because they were pre-ordered on amazon and then uh they became available and just having to ship at the same time so that's cool they got the vinyls and then these last two I won't be opening or anything at least not yet but if you have seen on this channel here we do open some Marvel Legends figures so um, my brother was able to find some of those we got the Cyclops and Dark Phoenix Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive at Toys R Us so again I think I don't know if this is just an exclusive or if it was from um, San Diego Comic Con I'm not exactly sure but I know this is an exclusive so of course has that sticker right there saying Toys R Us exclusive and so this just looks awesome with Cyclops and then the Dark Phoenix and she has some extra heads to make her look more evil and then that Phoenix that goes on her hand looks really awesome and I just think this pack looks super cool and then the last thing out of all of this set is the Comic Con New York Comic Con exclusive that was finally in uh, Toys R Us so again it's another Toys R Us exclusive as you can see there this is the A Force and so there's a funny kind of like funny little story about this so back during San Diego Comic Con when um, I ordered some stuff from Toys R Us this was one of the things I ordered but I got an email saying that you know they sold out or whatever so they got the order canceled and so my brother of course was super mad about that and so he's been on Amazon stuff trying to find this pack for a de more decent price to act, order it or get it at some point and then we walk in the Toys R Us for San Diego Comic Con and or no for new york comic con this past weekend and they have like had like six or seven of these boxes sitting on the shelf and so we just thought it was hilarious and he was super excited to get it but so here is all the characters so this is an all women's pack and of course i'm not familiar with all of the characters here uh, but they have this paid over on the other side here so of course here we have it says singularity of course she hulk she's one that i know so she looks like hulk but a female singularity there up top so she's all the blue one then we have I think it's Rambo which is this uh, Monica Rambo or no that's if I'm getting all the whole name things messed up so Lady Sif which is in the Thor movies if you've seen her she just doesn't look like that then we got Monica Rambo or Rambo I guess and I don't know who this girl is oh, Elsa Bloodstone and then uh, Loki the female version of Loki so again, I don't know much about these all these female um, superheroes, but I think this pack looks really cool. So of course, She-Hulk there, um, Lady Sif, or Sif, I call her Lady Sif because that's what they call them. And then that Singularity, um, there's the um, Lebo, or Rambo, if I can say that, and Loki, and then again, I forget the girl's name, she's over here, Bloodstone, that's the one. And so there's all the characters, and I just thought this looks awesome. Of course, it's kind of an expensive set, um, but that was another Toys R Us exclusive from New York or from San Diego Comic Con that we found at New York Comic Con. Um, so that's I think about everything. I mean, we've got a desk full of figures here. I got to put all back now and everything. But I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you were able to get everything that you wanted from New York Comic Con. If you did, let me know down below, or if you did or didn't, and what characters you didn't, if you did. I know uh, the Dragon's Orb was a big one for a bunch of people, but and I was so, so excited and happy that I was able to get one. And uh, as I said, I was able to get every single thing that I wanted from the set. Um, so I just was lucky, I guess, because I don't always get everything from these Comic Cons and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed, and so if you did, please leave a thumbs up for me. Again, leave those comments down below and hit that red subscribe button to catch up on all our videos and to see more things like this and we will see you next time.